Hi guys, it is a blissfully rainy day in the drought-plagued wasteland of South Austin, Texas. Hallelujah, we have made it to Monday morning, July 15th, 2013. I'm getting ready to, I'm winding up for my economic meltdown roundup rant. I encourage you to do that, but before I get into it, good God guys, here we go. Uh, I just did my final word on the George Zimmerman verdict yesterday. That rant, in case you missed that one, uh, which was pretty much identical to my rant from two years ago on the royal wedding. The royal wedding, I cannot even remember who got married. Uh, William and Kate. William and Kate. Jesus Christ. Who gives a shit on this planet? So anyway, uh, my George Zimmerman rant was identical to my, uh, to my royal wedding rant. Uh, which is basically where I just sat there staring into the camera with my mouth shut. Uh... And I thought I could take a breather, guys. But now I read this story from the Atlantic Wire. This is what greets me on Monday morning. And uh, so I can make a promise to myself and to you. I, Ham Bone Little Tail, do solemnly swear on my laptop computer that this is the first and the last rant I will ever have on this subject. And here is the headline from today's Atlantic Wire. <clears throat> Get ready for all royal baby news all the time. Atlantic Wire, and, and I'm assuming this guy named Connor Simpson and I'm assuming that uh, Mr. Simpson is not joking with this. This would, I, I would first think this would, this article was a joke, but I think he's shooting straight from the hip. If you thought the coverage of the Zimmerman trial went overboard, just wait for the news networks, meaning the mainstream media news networks, on both sides of the Atlantic to go gaga over this royal baby who would be the deceased Princess Diana's first grandchild and is the first son or daughter of Prince William and Duchess Catherine, also known as Kate, whom you may remember from the royal wedding news overdose two summers ago. Actually, uh, I, I did not remember what their names were. Uh, yes, the watch for William and Kate's first child is the next big news story of the summer and there is nothing you can do about it as the New York Times reports, so they have a link to that, there are already throngs, throngs of journalists with their fancy umbrellas posted outside St. Mary's Hospital. Uh, some are reporting out of pop-up bureau offices that can double as camping tents, I guess similar to what I'm sitting in here on this rainy day. Uh, this despite the fact that Kate isn't even, even in there. She's hiding out in her mother's house and William is playing polo. But Kate is expected to go into labor any day now in the media overdosing on monarchy news will rival the headline fatigue brought on by the royal wedding coverage two years ago. Just you wait, 
because it is going to get ridiculous and uh, it further breaks down the absolute, absolute global mainstream media hysteria ramping up now that though those zombies those clueless dumbed down zombies have nothing to talk about well I guess they have the verdict from the George Zimmerman nine story of the year to uh, to talk about but once that runs its course, it mercifully runs its course in the next few days, everybody on this planet is going to be, I mean, every media outlet on this planet, not just in England, not just in the United Kingdom, but the, the, the most non story for the zombies it is going to completely overrun the media and this is why I am considering just one of the many reasons why I am considering that when I begin my vacation hopefully on Thursday that I am going to start my own little experiment both personally and socially where I am never going for for six glorious weeks I am NOT going to turn on Yahoo News. I am never going to read a newspaper, well, I haven't turned on a television in, in years anyway, that I am going to completely ignore uh, world events, the mainstream media news, just so in my travels I can hear what stories actually filter through to me understand that I hear from other Americans as I travel around this country uh, what news stories will filter through to me and I will see if the royal baby story makes its ways to my ears over the next six weeks and my prediction my doomsday prediction guys is that it will is that it will is that the birth uh, uh, of this little uh, of this little elitist uh, new world order poster child uh, the darling of the world's media will will filter through to this doomsday prophet's ears but since I have made a promise never to mention this story again, all I, all I can say to anybody listening to me, whether or not to you are part of Humpty Dumpty Tribe, if you, if you tune in to one story on this, you are a, a you are a zombie, you are a clueless brainless zombie you are one of the dumbed down sheeple who completely hopeless and I'm talking to you if you fall for this shit you are uh, as big a victim uh, well, guys, you're, you're completely hopeless. I, I am ashamed to have you in Humpty Dumpty Tribe. If you're here, I have nothing but pity for you. If you pay one iota of attention to what will be the single biggest non-news story of the year 2013, and my guess, it will dwarf the non-news story of the George Zimmerman trial. And this is my final word. I hope to hell 
that I can keep this promise to myself and to you that I will never again mention the single, the single biggest non-news story on this planet for the rest of this year. And with this promise, I will wrap up this little rant and move on for anybody who cares. Because I, I assure you that about one hundredth of one percent of the people hanging on the news coming out uh, of, of St. Mary's Hospital give a shit about the impending collapse of the U.S and the global economy, which is what I'm getting ready to talk about in my next rant for the 10 or 12 people on this planet who care to listen to it. Bye, guys.